everybody. I thought I would catch you up on what I've been doing because I had a portion of the day that I couldn't really film. So I headed out from my parents' house at around 4 p.m. and I went to go grocery shopping and I had a distinct plan that I was going to go grocery shopping at this specific Safeway because that Safeway has a Starbucks on the inside of it and I wanted to get a peppermint hot chocolate specifically. So I did my grocery shopping for the dinner that I'm making right now. It's actually dinner is in the oven right now. Sarah and I are making it. Um, Sarah's right here. Here she comes. Hi. <laughs> and um, we're making a, a vegan sheet pan shawarma. So that's very exciting. And then I, so I got through grocery shopping and then I went to the Starbucks and they were out of mocha syrup, which I guess they use in their peppermint hot chocolate. So that was disappointing. I couldn't have my peppermint hot chocolate. I did get a chai latte, which was really good. That's also one of my favorites. And then the real thing that I couldn't film is that I started piano lessons today. I'm teaching an eight-year-old in my congregation how to play the piano. She wants to play something for Christmas. This was her first lesson. She's astonishingly good. I mean, she's picking things up quicker than I would have ever imagined. But I didn't want to film her. You know, I wanted to maintain her privacy. So I had a lesson with her, and then I went over to Sarah's apartment, and that's where we are now, getting ready to have dinner. So after this... I am going to go ahead and go back to church because we have Advent Wednesday Vespers um, tonight. And then after that, I am finally going to go home. <laughs> of today's uh, vlog, I wanted to go ahead and do a Christmas tag with Sarah. Ooh. So we found a very long 35 question Christmas tag um, website. We're not going to do all of those because most of them, our answers would be the same. Like, what do we do for Christmas? We're together, so we do the same stuff. So we're, we're only... the same family. Yeah, exactly. So we're only going to do the questions where we might have a different answer. So let's start with the, the first question that we really liked, which is... Are you good at buying gifts for others? Florence, would you say you're good at buying gifts for others? I think so. I think I put a lot of thought into it, and I think that I enjoy the process of, like, finding the right thing. I mean, it depends on the person, I guess. What about you? Um, I think I have the potential to be good at buying gifts, but either I rush it by waiting too long, or sometimes, I don't know, I get, I get stuck. And then I, I, I scramble to find something, and they're oftentimes not as good as I think that they should be. Time management can be the so, ultimate hurdle. Yeah. So, I th yeah, I think if I, if I put a little more intention into it, I could do it a little bit better. <laughs> so what's the next question we've got? What is your most memorable Christmas memory? I know mine right off the bat. What's yours? So, I should actually let me get that. I can't get the prop. Because yes, I can. Hang on. Okay. She's leaving. You can cut this or not. <laughs> I won't cut it. You know I won't. <laughs> I actually kind of told this story in our day one oh, vlog yeah, yeah, last yeah. year, but this book, uh, The Box of Delights uh, by John Maysfield, um, there's a BBC miniseries that we watch every year that's based on this book, and um, I've loved it for a really long time, and I thought when I was younger that I was just like never going to get my hands on this book because it wasn't really in print in America and I was like, this is before like Amazon. Yeah, you can just was, like order stuff. As international. Well, you, you could, but it was like $200. Like it was so expensive. So I thought, oh, maybe one day I'll be 50 years old and I'll be <laughs> in a little used bookstore in England and I'll find it. Um, but then my parents must have found like a, a cheaper copy that was available to buy online because they, they purchased this copy for me. And it was like my the Christmas of my 16th or 17th year of life. And I opened it. I've never been as surprised by a gift as when I opened this. It was like the purest sort of Christmas moment of like opening a box and seeing just the thing that you wanted so badly in it, but you hadn't even asked for it. Like you just didn't think it was even possible. So that's, that memory will always live in my mind. I'm not actually sure what my most memorable Christmas memory is, 
When I tried to think about Christmas memories, the first thing that came to my mind was the year that, this is before I worked at the church that I'm working at now, and um, it was the year that we woke up on Christmas Day and it was a white Christmas, and then we went to the Washington National Cathedral for the Christmas Day service, and it was like snowing at the cathedral, yeah. and it was like the most Christmas card thing that I had ever seen. But I don't know that that was actually my most memorable Christmas, but that's the one that like comes to mind when I think about like notable Christmases of my life, and that was really the only thing like special about it, so it was just pretty funny. I do, I do have another memorable Christmas memory, which you mentioned services, and it reminded me of this. I've told this story before, but not on vlogs. Um, it's, uh, there was a, a year that I was helping out with the Christmas Eve midnight service at our church, and so it was, by the time the service gets out, it's about 1, 1, 1 15 in the morning. Really? And uh, I was about to head out, and there was a woman from our church who was putting away all of the communion <laughs> materials, and this was, I didn't even, like, I'd grown up with her, but I didn't, we did, we weren't, like, friends, and like, we didn't spend time independently together, but we were two of the only people left in the building, and so she was like, we have this communion wine that's been consecrated, um, so we can't just pour it yeah, down so the drain, that seems pour it down insulting the drain. to God. <laughs> Um, it should be, it should be drunk. And she was like, well, do you want to, like, I would not, like, get, get drunk, but, like, do you want to, like, you know, help me finish it off? And if you don't know, if you've never, like, been to, like, a, a church that has communion and you've never taken communion, communion wine's real bad. Yes, it's, um, it's, it's port, but it's not good port. It's not good. It's not good at um, all. And so there wasn't a lot left, but enough that it would feel weird if you had to sit there and drink it by yourself. So I just, I have this. It is pretty, you would have gotten drunk, too. It's a pretty high alcohol for all that yeah. by yourself. So I, I just have this memory of standing with this woman who I've, like, known my whole life but never really spent this time with, you know, drinking communion, wine, consecrated wine in the in the sacristy at 1.15 in the morning on Christmas Eve night. Right. It was a good memory. The sacristy's like a, a storage, Spirit, storage spiritual, place. Spiritual supply closet. <laughs> yeah. Um. Spiritual supply closet is a good way to say it. <laughs> okay. So the next one is our favorite Christmas movie. So I think I'm going to count to three. And we should each say, Just say our what it Christmas is. Movie, okay, ready? One, two, three. Muppet, Muppet Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, I think we don't have the same answer for. No, what I is? Doubt it. What is your favorite Christmas song? Um, you want to go first? Yeah, I think mine is "I Saw Three Ships Come Sailing In." Uh, I and love it's it. funny because a lot of people don't know like the traditional, like more religious Christmas songs. So I mentioned that at work, and uh, not my church job. But my other job, and uh, everybody was like, what's that song? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Did you start humming it? They might know the tune. I don't, don't know if words. I started humming it, but I, then I tried to explain about how the three ships were symbolic, and people were like, what? <laughs> um, my favorite Christmas song is technically an Advent song, Advent oh, being yeah. the period before Christmas, uh, which is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Um, That's a good one. Uh, I like the chanty ones. <laughs> Um, because my, if I had to choose one that actually is Christmas, my favorite Christmas carol is, uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. That's what I thought you were gonna say. So, uh, I just, I, I don't know, I like the plain song chanty ones, uh, with, like, slightly minor <laughs> notes to them. Awesome. We have one question that we're doing by, by personal request, even though we don't necessarily... I can give an answer, but you really want to give an yeah, answer. Yeah, we don't necessarily... <laughs> it's, it's rant time. <laughs> so, question 17 on this list is, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? The answer is yes, we've both been Christmas caroling. Uh, and we might actually go sometime this um, December to a local nursing home with people from our church. We're having a lot of trouble coordinating a nurse with a nursing home, a time that works for both us and the nursing home. Right. Um, <laughs> um, but my rant was, I miss the days when we did, like, actual Christmas caroling, like, not... We're in a sort of assisted living facility going around to people's rooms, but like the kind where you go door to door from like houses and knock on the door and sing in front of their doorstep, uh, which is, I mean, it's weird that I am nostalgic for that because um, I would have to really look through my like um, sort of view over here at the door to make sure that it was Christmas carolers before I opened it because I don't open my door to anyone if I'm not. We'd probably just them. not get a lot of people. Yeah, probably the door. no one would open we'd the have, door. Well, we'd have to start singing. Yeah, but we I would, like we would wait for them to. Yeah, you have to start like, like in the bells. box of delights. You've got to like just stand out there and sing. Yeah, 
Um, but I, I don't know. I've just really, I've been nostalgic for that for some time now. I miss the days when that used to be a thing that could happen. And, and then, like, in the season. Box of Delights, like, then they have to invite you in and, like, give you Yes, stuff. they're supposed to invite you in and give you, like, fr- fruit punch. <laughs> I'd be, like, I'd be all for that. <laughs> uh, I think there actually is, I looked this up a few years ago, I think there actually is in downtown D.C., a group that gets together is, and goes yeah. to people's houses. We went and saw, um, a number of years ago, we went to this, like, tiny little town in Pennsylvania <sighs> where all night they, like, they start at midnight. start at midnight and they sing, like, all the rest of the night long and they just go through town. And there are the actual... just nobody goes to bed that night because the people have to be up. And they do, like, they go and they carry all the people's houses. So they had, like, a concert. Like before midnight. Yeah, their their midnight, warm up. Their warm up is that at like eleven thirty they do a full concert for you. Yeah, I and mean, we only went to that. But then they were telling us about how then at midnight they like head out and they go to everybody's houses. And like I said, I guess nobody sleeps because it is traditional caroling. So like every house they go to, they get like invited in, and then they like have time with those people. That's so, so like, cool. What a community building activity. I would be so tired. <laughs> I mean, I'd, be, I'd be so tired. But like like you said, they get to sit and it's spend really time cool. with yeah. everybody. In the community, and then do those people no one no one gets left out, and that's really great. And that's a, it's a pretty like small town vibe, which means a lot of people are probably Christian. Do they like get up the next morning and go to church, and then go to sleep? When do they sleep? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. The first one we answer. So, question. The next question is related to the first question, kind of, which is, do you prefer giving gifts or receiving gifts on Christmas? Receiving, but primarily because I get self conscious of <laughs> my lack of prowess at giving gifts. So, you know, it's not just like, oh, I want to see what I get. It's, I'm, I'm worried. Every time I hand a gift, I'm like, oh, I really hope you like it because I don't know if I don't know if I found this one in this year. And I think this really speaks to how we felt about question one because I prefer giving gifts. Mm-hmm. I do like receiving gifts, particularly from, like, certain people, you know. Uh, my family members really get me, so uh, I enjoy receiving gifts from them. But I, like, much prefer to, to give them. I love, like, watching people open stuff. That I gave them. But I also, like, usually play it pretty safe. Yeah. So it's not like I'm ever super worried. Like, most of the time it's either something I've already... They've told me they wanted or something I, like, know that they want. Um, so it doesn't... It's pretty low stakes for me, I guess. Yeah, the times I'm most excited about giving gifts are when I know that I've really, like, hit the jackpot. And terms of like, that's perfect. I'm like, oh, open it immediately. Yeah. Like, the first, Can't wait for you to see it. First thing you yeah. open. Amazing. <laughs> so the next question we wanted to do was um what makes christmas special for you and i think there's a lot of things that go into it i think the kind of like sum total of christmas together is like special for me so i enjoy the the that there's a nice long lead up (coughs) excuse me wow in advent uh where you get to do all this stuff together it's kind of like a parallel to like in the church year lent and easter except that lent is not as much fun as advent is so, like, it's just, you just do tons of fun stuff um, for, like, a whole month. You get to open your advent calendars, and we drink all these teas, and we yeah. do all these things, and we buy presents. And then um, then you have, like, a really beautiful church service, multiple church services, which is very tiring for me as a church organist, but also super rewarding. And then you just have this, like, lovely day. We've, our, my family has so many different traditions, like... We always have crab cakes on Christmas Eve because um, it's kind of a throwback to when my parents lived in Maine. This is how I remember it. They watch these videos, so they'll tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, that they it's a throwback from when they lived in Maine, and you usually have like Fish clam chowder, Eve. oysters. I can't remember. On Christmas Eve. Mom and Dad tell us what the answer is. Yeah, it's a seafood thing. I remember it's a seafood thing because then when they came back to Maryland, they wanted a similar seafood thing. And Maryland is famous for crab cakes, so they did crab cakes. So that's, like, a big thing. And then we uh, have Christmas Day. You have your service. You open your presents. You sit around in your pajamas. Sometimes you fall asleep on the floor because you're so happy. And that kind of thing. It's yeah. the whole sum total of everything. Yeah, I like I like the sort of the rituals and the traditions. So not just the church-related ones, although that's good, too. But just, like, anything that's a tradition that we do from year to year um, that's what I look forward to is the moments when you, you know, get to, get to do this thing at a specific time that you've been looking forward to all year. And it's a lot of family stuff that, like, the whole family does together, and I really love all the times that we have, like, we do things together as a whole family. Yeah. We watch A Child's Christmas in Wales after Christmas dinner, 
and that's always nice and we're playing music we play all my christmas cds because my dad's run out of christmas cds by that point so we play all of my christmas cds and we have a delicious meal and just the whole day is so is so nice it's just so heartwarming yeah <laughs> So then the last question that we were really interested in doing, because we're running out of time, we have Advent Vespers coming up and we have to like go see. I have to put the food away. Yeah, so um, we'll, we'll keep it to this last question, which is the last question on the list, which is, what's your one Christmas wish? I think mine is that on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, when we have our services at church, I hope that either we see... A fairly significant number of people like we really get to see sort of a full room of people or that we see some people that we haven't seen in a long time um, because I think that would make something the the midnight mass the high the high mass at the um at, in the middle of the night uh is my favorite <laughs> is my favorite service of the year so it's sometimes already, it's just us and the acolytes. Yeah, it's already special to me. But what would make it more special is if I saw some some old faces or even a lot of new faces that I've never seen before. Just, you know, I love the people that we always see, but, you know, if I could see more than just those people. We put so much work into it. And that's how we feel both about, like, the late service on the night before Easter and on Christmas Eve. I know that's how the pastor and I both feel, is that we put so much work into the service and it really makes us feel better if like people come <laughs> yeah it's, it's a lot of work but it's a lot of joy and happiness as right. well and you want to share that with other people my um i would second that but i'm, I'm going to say something different um i think my wish in general is just that we can go into christmas and we're all happy and healthy and have things to look forward to um in the time after christmas you know just like that there's good things on the horizon and it seems like there are i hope that there are I and think so. um so that's that's like that's kind of maudlin but that's like my <laughs> wish for christmas this year um that we have a lot to look forward to um so that's all for the christmas tag there's a little more footage coming after this hopefully if i remember i've been forgetting <laughs> a lot today i've been forgetting to film everything but um yeah hopefully a little more footage before bed and um we will talk to you next time Bye guys, bye.